Ooh, 77 degrees this morning, yeah, man. It's gonna be my first day back to work in almost two weeks. And I don't wanna go back. <laughs> that gum. <laughs> What's the longest y'all ever took off from work? Went on vacation and then had some other stuff going on and I ended up being off from work for two weeks, y'all. Man, it's gonna be my first day going back. We gonna record it. <laughs> I never record a morning ride to work and I'm talking in a video. That's very rare. But man, if I ain't, if I ain't have to go back, I don't think I never would. <laughs> man, two weeks been lovely, but but to go back, y'all. I ain't got no choice. My daggone glasses fogged up like a mug. I'm not even putting my, I usually wear my motorcycle pants over whatever pants I got on or shorts I got on for that day. I'm, I'm not even putting those on. It's too hot for those. Like I said, it's already 77 degrees. Yesterday they had a, a weather advisory for the heat. And I kid you not, I've seen a man felt that in I don't know if he passed out or what was going on with him, but he was in the road, passed out. There's about about five people around him. I'm like, dang, this man done passed out. It was a car. Say this was a four-way. The car was parked right here on the four-way. So they was in danger of getting rear-ended. I'm like, dang, gone. It definitely was hot yesterday. And I think today is going to be just as hot. So... I said the heck with them cycle pants. I definitely like wearing them, especially in the morning like this. It's extra wind protection, but it's too hot for them. Especially it's gonna be too hot for, I'm gonna be riding the motorcycle over two hours today. If you include my ride to work, my ride from work, and then plus the, the driving I'll probably do. I have to go to, well, I, I know I'm probably for sure gonna go to another store. I used to would call my boss and ask, but these last few weeks, I've just been going by myself. Cause what my job has been doing is, they had started back mileage. They had stopped it for a while. Dropping them a load of, what is that? Dropping them a load of something on. But they had stopped mileage and then they brung it back but i think really uh what they want us to do is uh they want us to uh come and get in a company vehicle but i don't want to do that heck with it i've been driving my own vehicle all this time so i just keep on doing that i, I don't really care about mileage i do care about mileage if y'all gonna bring it back and take it away and then tell us to get in company vehicles what's the purpose of even having of even having mileage if it's not gonna stick around when they brought mileage back i think we probably had it a little over a month before they took it back away so i don't know but when i first started working on my job and they we had mileage uh so i can say i'm good <laughs> i heard that we had mileage uh they started mileage from my house i make a bunch to me That'd be an extra $500, $600 on my check every two weeks. Now, that's what hurt my feelings. If they would have started mileage back like that, I'd have been happy. Man, I ain't been this way in so long. I even forgot they had that car over there. I ain't had no reason to come this way. That's crazy. Man, I had did some dropped all that uh, insulation. That'll make you itch, too. I got my camera in low light setting, so... I don't know how it's going to look. I know everything's going to be a little darker. And what I realized when I was on vacation at Disney, the only way you could get the camera to go in low light settings is you had to take it out the, the ultra wide setting. So you had to put it in wide and that's what I got the camera in right now. I got it on wide. So this video might not be as wide as my videos usually are. But I don't think I ever did a moto vlog video with the, the low light settings on. So. We just tried that. I know it makes everything darker because I think it, it lower your ISO. I think it lowers your ISO down. And that's what that what that's what, what makes a video brighter darker is your ISO. So the higher the ISO, especially in 
dark situations the brighter camera or whatever you whatever camera you use and will try to make the scenery so I know it probably dropped the ISO down pretty look at all the 18 wheelers yeah I know it's not like a bad job being a truck driver but I don't know y'all I just don't want to go back to work. <laughs> we gotta go get them dollars though. Gotta go get them. Look at that deer. Be careful. Do you think about it, deers are weird looking, they're weird looking animals, but <laughs> they got this big body and little legs. But I guess they probably think we look weird too, but a little bit of stick legs, but they can run on them jokers and they can jump on them, so I guess that's all that matters. They do what they need to do with them cut my music up a little bit y'all man i've been off for over two weeks i started my vacation what the 14th of <laughs> july and today is august the first so i've been off from work over two weeks a little over two weeks hey it ain't nothing like when you man that's crazy to ever imagine if you imagine people that don't have to get up and go to work how much freedom they got just to do whatever you want to do Obviously, I guess they got some kind of way of making money or they get some kind of assistance where they don't have to go to work, but man, I could never fathom not having to, not having to go punch a clock. And I could, I just think about all the stuff I could get done, even though I did a lot of relaxing. But I still got some stuff done. But if I was to imagine not having to get up and go punch a clock, it's definitely easier for me to upload videos because I don't have to upload them ahead of time i can just wake up in the morning i'm always regardless i always get up early now i got up at 2 30 but even when i don't have to work i'm not too far from waking up at that 2 30 to get up and do something even if i wake up at 4 i just go ahead and get up and start doing something but we headed to work <laughs> fortunately i can't i can't complain i, I still got a job if I didn't have to work, man, I just think of the stuff, all the stuff I, could, I would do. How I would plan my day out if I didn't have to work. I know I would for sure get up, get ready, and then a morning like this, man, as soon as the sun get up, I would get up and go get me a good bike ride in. I would do that every morning, especially during the summer, and even during the fall, because it's still manageable, manageable temperature get up and be active outside it just ain't cold cold even our winters down here aren't that bad but i wouldn't want to wake up at six seven in the morning and it's 45 degrees outside to go ride a bike you have to bundle up <laughs> but work up and it's i think even in the high 50s i could manage to get up and do a good bike ride you just have to put some clothes on and you'll work up a you'll work up a good enough temperature where you'll be good say like 60 degrees that wouldn't be too bad to get up and ride a bike then after that who knows what i could do <laughs> i know i probably still film content but i said i told my girlfriend if my subscribers subscriber count ever catch up with my video count i'm gonna take a i'm gonna slow down i probably just upload shorts and i for sure would still upload a short every day but a long form video i probably wouldn't be worried about a long form video so i probably just upload one video a day instead of my normal two and for the last i don't know probably this whole year even before this year started i can't remember when i started doing a call out walk video but i've been uploading three videos on sunday so i would slow down as if my subscriber count ever catch up with my <laughs> video count i think I got a little over 300 more subscribers than I got videos, so it's a little ways off, but it's not too far off. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I've been uploading a video every day for maybe the last three years, I would want to say. And maybe two videos for the last three years. Definitely been putting in the work, so it is what it is. It's just a hobby. Just a hobby. I enjoy it. It's probably one of my main hobbies make youtube videos i enjoy making videos but i'm not gonna lie here lately i kind of been slacking even though i still been putting out content every day just on my part i feel like i've been slacking 
because when I went to Disney, I wanted to have videos already uploaded so I wouldn't have to worry about uploading long form videos. Of course, I was going to re uh, record a short, which whatever I did, but I didn't do that. I had to upload a video every day while I was at Disney. That's why I, these last two weeks y'all got so many first impression videos because it was easy videos I already had on my phone that I could upload and that count as my along with forms. You know, what kind of vehicles he got over here? I have to check this footage out later, y'all. See how it turned out. I don't know, I, that's why I never really uh, be mic'd up in these videos. I just put the microphone in my backpack. But yesterday, I didn't have my backpack and I tried it just putting my microphone in the pocket of my coat and I put it in one of my little camera bags. And I didn't, I didn't have it checked that footage out. I had to see how that footage sound. I was just driving around town. I wasn't going highway speed. So I had to see how that video turned out. I imagine it would sound all right, but it's different from when you have the microphone in your backpack and the wind is not really hitting it since the backpack is on your back. There's not really no wind hitting it how it would if I was to put it in my pocket. That's usually how I've been doing my videos ever since I got this DJI mic too. I just been putting the microphone in my backpack. The only bad thing I can say about this microphone, and I think it's because I have it in behind me, which is not far from the camera, but it was st it still get interference. And I think that's just part of it, it being Bluetooth. And it's not, if you want to say, in the line of sight with the camera. See, with it, the camera being on front of me and the mic being in front of me right now, I shouldn't get no dips in this video. And I have my lavalier connected to it. So I've been doing this pretty consistently for a while. And there's still a lot of stuff I haven't quite figured out with how I'm doing stuff. I'm close, but it's not all the way figured out. But this microphone with this camera, it's pretty... It's the best audio setup I ever had. Definitely the best audio setup, but there's always, you can always tweak stuff and try different stuff and see how it goes. Just ride out. I'm definitely ready to get this day over with. First day being back at work. Ready to go and get going and head on home. You know what I noticed, y'all? I think I need to tighten my chain on the motorcycle too, but I did cheap out on my chain. I didn't get a roller bearing chain which I knew better, but this chain isn't gonna last long on this motorcycle. I'm already experiencing some, some stuff out of it that you shouldn't be experiencing. When I go back and watch some of my videos from the last few days, I thought maybe I was uh, hitting red line, but my chain is slipping. As it's spinning, as if I was to take off hard, which I'm gonna try not to, <laughs> cause I don't wanna break my chain. I'm gonna take it easy. I got six days in a row I gotta work. So, and I plan on riding the motorcycle just about every day unless I finish working on my truck and I get my truck back enough and running. I had to put a water pump on it. I started it, then I had to stop and I had to get back on it. But these six days, I'm probably gonna ride my motorcycle every day. It's gonna pretty, be pretty warm mornings like this every day. So, probably gonna ride the motorcycle every day and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna wear my pants my motorcycle pants I probably won't it's, it's gonna be hot man it's one of the hottest months so I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing my pants I still got my rain suit in my backpack and I don't think it's gonna rain as far as I don't look as far as the weather go it's not gonna rain over these six days but I still got my rain suit I brought me a rain suit over the time that I was off and I got it in my backpack right now. So if I were to run into any rain, I could put my raincoat on and I'd be all right. I won't get soaking wet, which I don't mind getting wet, but I don't want to get soaking wet. <laughs> I don't want to get soaking wet. I want to cut my music up, but when I go to edit it, I don't want to have to filter through all from through me talking and do the music talking because the editing app I use it'll pick up the music talking and it'll make it a little more difficult to edit the video than it was if my microphone wasn't catching the music with the app I use that cap cut it got a feature where you can run it through there and it'll just chop the video up to where you talking so that's a pretty cool feature 
a pretty cool feature. I think today, I'll probably upload, today's August the 1st, I'll probably upload another first impression video and then I gotta finish uploading a video of me putting this exhaust on this motorcycle. I gotta stick up like four or five more videos of that series that I gotta finish. So, I'm gonna try to get on it today when I get off to finish getting those videos uploaded. Yesterday I uploaded, Sundays and Wednesdays are my motorcycle video days and yesterday I uploaded my complete ride that I did. That, that video took me a while to edit. It was an hour 44 so I put that, um, I said that video at least took me three hours which is long for me. It usually don't take me long to edit videos but that video took me three hours at minimum. Like I said, we're not, not be right for some people, but that's a lot of time for me to be editing a video. I'm usually able to, man, that's how I can pump videos out so fast. I'm usually able to edit a video pretty quick, especially when I chop them down. But not chopping a video down, it didn't make it even, even, a, even a lengthier process in the editing process. I uploaded an hour. It was longer than that. I sped some parts up. I uploaded an hour 40 motor vlog video yesterday. And it's crazy. I made a, a 50 second intro. And that sucker took me about three or four hours that morning from Tuesday going into Wednesday. And I think I, I worked on that intro video about three or four hours because originally what I wanted to do didn't work out. I'm gonna have to use, if I was to do that, I would have to use a more. I scrapped it and went with something com completely different, but almost completely different. So yesterday, I probably, Tuesday going into Wednesday, I probably spent almost nine hours editing two videos, which that is a lot for me. <laughs> Close to nine hours, eight, nine hours. That's a lot of time to be editing two videos for me, which that's why I try to chop videos down and don't have them uploading so long. If I count it, because it took it over two hours and two hours and some change to upload, so I was probably dealing with, I probably put 10 hours of messing with videos Tuesday and Wednesday. That's a lot for me. Or it's uploading the videos, editing the videos, and everything else. That's a lot of time for me, which I prefer not to do. I prefer not to have a whole long 20 gigabyte video to upload. I prefer to have the top I said seven gigabyte video. That's manageable, but I don't I don't even want to have a seven gigabyte video. I want a video to be able to upload in 30 minutes or less on my Wi-Fi. That's decent for me. If I can get a video to upload in 30 minutes, that's good for me. That's perfect for me. Anything under that, that's great. <laughs> that's, which is what I prefer. But for some reason, I wanted to upload that whole ride. I just got out of the road. I'm going to start on my motor vlogs. I'm going to start driving on roads I never drove on. That's crazy. You live somewhere your whole life, but it's still places you haven't went in your own town. But excuse me. I'm the type of person, I just stick to what I know. I'm not too curious about going somewhere where I ain't never really been, if that makes sense. When it comes to driving and driving around and stuff, I, I stick to what I know because I don't want to get lost. It'd be crazy to get lost in your own town. <laughs> that would be crazy to get lost in your own town. I think I done did it once in my life. Once or twice, get lost in your own town. And then as far as going somewhere else, I done got lost maybe two handfuls of times. Where am I at? I got to figure out where I'm at, but actually getting lost, 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 I had to call and get help. That maybe not happen two or three times. That's crazy though. It can be scary. I was a lot younger too. But now it's a different situation. I wouldn't really be too concerned. I would figure it out. But back then, man, it was crazy. Be like, I got probably like 18, which is older. I mean, and I had probably been driving for three years. I started driving when I was 15. I got lost. I got I was a manager at Burger King around that time. Man, I swear they've been they've been working on these roads forever. They're doing the shoulder over there now. Like they're gonna get finished with these roads, y'all. But 
I had to get up and go to work the next morning, and man, Darren there didn't make it to work. <laughs> I made it just in time. I ain't having no time to do nothing. Just had to come home and get dressed. I got off from work, got ready, and I headed to where I was going, and then, kind of like this job, I had to get up early in the morning to be there and get the store ready and stuff. I might have been older than 18. I might have been around 21. Well, I tell you, I got lost. My, my mom and my brother had to help me get back on track to get back home. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't, I was maybe only an hour away from work from home, but it was somewhere I'd never been before, so I was quick lost. It was the ride back home from when it was daylight and it was dark when I was headed back home. It didn't look the same to me back then. Now I'm pretty good with GPS and stuff. But I think back then I wasn't too good with GPS, but I'm pretty good with GPS these days. Or if I got lost, especially in a car, on a motorcycle it's different. But I could use my watch too, so I could get back on track. Let's see if it's in a turn by the time we got up here. Ain't no cars on the side for it to turn. One car. See if it's turn by the time we get over here. Yeah, it's gonna be in a turn. There's one thing good about my ride to work in the morning is uh, that one light in town is the only light I really gotta worry about me getting stopped at. I say eight times out of 10, that light I'm always able to go to and it's gonna be another light down here. Eight times out of 10, I'm, I'm usually always able to go to it without getting stopped. Or it's two of them down here. So it's four lights that I was considering on my way to work that possibly could stop me. But it, when I get into town, it's a different thing. That's more lights that can stop me. But usually I say seven out of 10 times. I'm usually, after that I get stopped at that light in my town, I don't really have to worry about no lights because they all change pretty quick and they're more for your direction. Like these the people going left or right, getting onto this road, the light doesn't stay long for them. That light was. It's pretty good at changing to get the through traffic, traffic I'm going on through the light, which is good to <laughs> stop on the motorcycle, even in the car. <laughs> oh, your momentum down. Then you can have people coming up in behind. On the motorcycle, I don't get up to speed pretty fast, but I don't know, it's like Mike get it. In the car, I, I try not to speed in the car. I ease into the speed in the car. On the motorcycle, I might get on it, but in the car, I ease into it. It's gonna get us, y'all. The truck that's sitting up there. Usually, there's not a vehicle. Oh. Usually, there's not a uh, there's not a vehicle sitting up here, but this miniature truck stop. It's not a big truck stop, but but as soon as this truck get through here, the light's gonna change. They barely had enough time to get through the light. They was going slow. They technically would have been running the light. We gonna get on around here. Hopefully there's nobody down at this light. Oh, we can go on through this one. See, if there's somebody sitting at the light for a little while, it, it's bound to get you. That was a few seconds off of being able to go on through it. We'll see if we get stopped at any more lights. There's a few more lights that I'm gonna have, but I shouldn't get stopped at no more. <laughs> Headed back to work. Hey. <laughs> she go back to work today. So, I'll be by myself tonight. <laughs> she, my girlfriend work overnight. So, I don't know where her next off day is. Maybe she won't have to work as many days as me before she off. Because I'm going to have to work six days in a row. I'll probably be quiet the rest of this ride, y'all. Like I said, I want to cut the music up, but I'm not going to cut it up. Because I don't want it to, I don't want it to interfere with me editing this video. I'll probably edit this video later on. Look at the video that I filmed with the microphone in my pocket. See how that turns out. I almost said work, so <laughs> I'm at the easy store, so it is what it is. It's gonna be a big gas station, you know. Let's see if any of these lights get us. Got two uh, Nissan Z's. The Nissan Z actually sold up the Supra. I like them Nissan Z's. Cool looking cars in my opinion. I like them. They really gonna like them when they come out with the I'm pretty sure they'll come out with a convertible version. Possibly. They gotta come out with a convertible version. I think that's when they really gonna take off when they get the convertible version. It's gonna up the, it's gonna up the sales even more. I would imagine they would come out with a convertible version of the Nissan Z. Okay, check it out. I'm trying to think what that used to be. Almost to our destination. Yeah. It's crazy how your shadow <laughs> up and passes you, comes up and rides by you. It actually passes you up. Instead of just riding beside you, it comes up 
Let's keep coming up and passing me up. <laughs> kind of didn't sleep that good last night. Usually my oh, boy. I've been up. I haven't been going to bed at my normal time. That they going back. I don't sleep so good. Fall asleep, wake up. Fall asleep, wake up. Be up for a little bit. I have to go use the restroom. That's how my night was. I was anxious to get up. But of course, I got to go to sleep. That gun flowers. Hey, Kroger sells some flowers, y'all. That's what they flowers come in on, if I'm not mistaken. All right, y'all. Myself together, get in here. Get this day over with. Let's see how bright it is. Excuse me. Come on off of there. Got some bugs, Splatter. All right, y'all. Catch y'all later. I'll be good.